Baker. I uh, wanted to knock out a quick video uh, for you high school coaches. I know you guys are getting into season now, and um, one of the things that often comes up is blocking. Now, it's important to understand blocking has the lowest correlation to success of your team. Uh, obviously, the first things you should focus on is serving and passing, and then followed by setting, and then keeping the ball in play when hitting. But um, we did spend a lot of time with all you high schools out there uh, during the summer working on blocking. And I wanted to knock out a quick video for you on the topic, uh, show you some things that we're seeing, plus uh, use this as a learning opportunity uh, for the players to watch some beach, as well as get a little bit more of a love for the game by watching the incredible Kerry Walsh. So uh, on the left-hand video, uh, we've got a video of a player uh, from North Carolina. Um, it's a team that I coached out in North Carolina, uh, and they're playing the team in black, uh, Wakefield, the team that we coached as the team in purple. Now, the blocker was not able to attend the camp, unfortunately, and you can see uh, she's doing a lot of major, major problems here. So it's a broken play. Uh, the ball has gone over the net and um, they have just received, the opponents have just received a free ball. Uh, there's a lot of problems that I'm seeing here in this play. Okay, um, so as we teach blocking, we want to go back to our teaching points. Uh, we try and break it down into three things. Read, move, block. Again, read, move, block. So let's start off with the reading component of the player. So, um, you can see the outside over here. This is who we're really focused on, this player right here. Um, so let's watch her eyes and her, her reading first. She's watching the ball, watching the ball, watching the setter, watching the setter, watching the ball. Ball, 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 ball. ball. Ball hitter. Um, yeah, it's pretty really, it's really, really bad. Um, another thing around this, so don't forget your eye sequences, ball setter, ball hitter, hip, shoulder, elbow, wrist. So we want to be looking at teaching the players to watch that sequence. Uh, the other problem I have is there's no anticipation on this play. Um, you know, the the girl that's about to hit the three previous plays, uh, she just dominated. She had two big blocks on the outside. Uh, and, you know, so you knew this ball was coming to her, but there was no anticipation in this play whatsoever. Uh, even if you're going to be blocking the middle, look at how slow the middle is right here. There's the middle. So uh, what you'll notice is the outside block is feet right now. Watch, they have to do a negative step. They step out. Did you notice that? Notice her right foot right here. Notice this right foot. It takes a step to the right in order to move to the left. Uh, that goes back to the negative step. I would be encouraging uh, for you more advanced coaches and players teaching them the split step stretch shortening cycle. Uh, we did some stuff with Tom Black on that. It basically is a move from tennis where you basically go down and you pump and it allows you to explode off your feet. Um, and you can see she actually had to move her right step to the right in order to move to the left and generate power. So if she did the split step, that would change. Also, notice her left foot here. Um, I would teach your players to open up their left foot, okay, so that they can easily open up their hips. You will notice she had to do a shuffle step. There's no crossover there, and because she's not doing a crossover, she's not gathering, she's not getting very, very high, and it's a very low block. Okay, so first thing is the read, then is the move. You can see she basically, just to sum up, she negative stepped. There was no split step stretch shortening cycle and going down. Her hips were not open. She did a shuffle step instead of a crossover step. And she did not gather and get a good jump out of this. Okay, the third step is the blocking. Okay, and the first thing you'll notice in terms of how she blocks is she makes two moves. You never want to make two moves. She first goes to the line. And then goes into the angle. Look at that. So notice her hands right here. They go up, 
and then over two moves you need to as a player and coach be teaching that you go straight over the net and go straight into penetration okay for you coaches remember what l skates taught me <laughs> i know you guys will be laughing at that uh, but make sure that the players go straight into penetration okay then the next thing is you will see how there's no penetration and there's no move now the one thing i want to try and do is also teach you guys something that i saw with uh carrie walsh by comparison and um you know that's again now look at the video on the right let's compare the two okay so this is from the olympics obviously carrie walsh three-time gold medalist and bronze medalist the greatest uh beach volleyball player in women's volleyball history maybe in men's and all volleyball history if you ask me for beach um let's watch her come up Okay, so she's reading the hitter, reading the setter. So now she's on the ball. Now she's on the hitter, watching that hitter. Now the big thing I wanted to show you guys is this arm pump. Okay, one of the things that really frustrates me is how the girls, by comparison, notice on the left, Notice how arms stay low, stay low, but they don't they don't go back. Notice how Kerry's arms are all the way back, elbows are high. But look at how on the left she moves with her hands up. Hands up, hands up, hands up. She makes a move, fake move up, and then she brings it down and then goes up again. Like not only can you not move, but you're not jumping very, very high. Also, by getting your arms back like Carrie does, let's look at the picture on the right now. Watch what it does. She really gets to gather. And what I really like is it forces penetration. See how she makes an aggressive move and grabs the ball. Notice the language is grabbing. Go back to our video uh, with Steve Anderson where we teach blocking versus grabbing. You can see on the video on the left, Jamie has not read the hitter. Okay, and she is going in and blocking. She's standing in front, whereas Carrie is watching the hitter and she is going after and grabbing the ball. Okay, uh, as a result, Carrie gets a good touch on it, plays it out. You get another free ball and watch, carries on it again. Okay, so much better. Notice how she gets her arms back. Boom. Nice big double arm move. Oh, just beautiful. You players, you all have to try and do this, especially if you have lots of time. She's reading that header really, really well. Makes another good aggressive move. Easy shot for April. Not an easy shot, but great dig actually. And they convert, if I recall. Nice set. Okay. But again, some really, really good stuff. So again, when you're teaching this stuff, go back to uh, teaching in three parts. Read, move, block. Uh, when you're teaching the reading, ball setter, ball hitter, hips, shoulder, elbow, wrist. That's what they need to look at in sequence. Okay. When they're moving, look at some simple things like um, having your hips open, crossover step. Okay, anticipating more successfully in terms of reading, uh, making sure that when they gather, that they gather on the move. Uh, if they can, get the more advanced stuff and get the split step stretch shortening cycle in there. And then when they start blocking, okay, some of the verbal cues you want to focus on is uh, one move, okay, penetrate, get a good arms pump and double arm swing move in there, and like watch the hitter, okay, watch the hitter. Okay. I hope that helps you. Um, coaches out there, if you are uh, looking to do this for your high school, we teach volleyball summer camps, and this is part of our tools that we teach and help the coaches with uh, post-camp to add value. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. See more volleyball videos, go to volleyball101.com.